Story. Talk Story is the longest running talk show on Maui. We're, I think, at 30 years, um, and 26 of those years, I've been blessed to be able to talk to Clifford Nioli with the celebration of the arts. I, yeah, it's a 26 year, folks. 26 years. 26 years. years. We're beginning to feel old, aren't we, Clifford? Yeah, it's, it's even older than a <laughs> bottle of wine. That's not, not too good. <laughs> Well, it gets better with age every year. And this one's beautiful. I love you brought in all these lovely pieces of graphics. Um, and I love the theme this year. I'll let you say the Hawaiian, and I will say the English. Oh, okay. Makahana ka ike. The work in work, there is knowledge. Correct. Boy, the, I, I need that tattooed. I don't even have a tattoo. Maybe I need that tattooed somewhere. Why don't you start with a bumper sticker? First, okay. <laughs> Yeah, non-committal. Yeah. <laughs> Got John right. Cruz here in the studio. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. John. Uh-huh. John. Uh-huh. John's looking really good. He cut off his hair. How, that was about 12 well, inches. Well, I didn't cut it. Anne's House of Beauty up in Pukalani cut it. About 12 inches of hair. <laughs> you had enough hair to donate those to locks of All right. the special locks for the cancer people. There's yeah. beautiful hair, too. But it's yeah. a great look that you have. It's really thick mane now that's short. Mm-hmm. You look like a lion. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, we have John here because John's going to be a part of the celebration of the arts. Clifford, how did you come up with this lovely theme, which I really think is something I need to learn about? I, I think it came up when the uh, the Hokulea crew came back from their Mahalo voyage um, a few months ago. And just listening to these guys from 1976 and how they're through their work, they accumulated all of this knowledge, and then now they're passing it on. So, you know, this is, this is good. Everybody through their experience in life um, has to absorb that knowledge, and I guess the, the biggest legacy you can leave is to, to, to leave some of that knowledge back and, and move it forward. So this is why we come up came up with this idea. Well, I guess that speaks well of you, because think of the legacy that you have over the years. My gosh, um, with 26 years, there's been so many great panels, and, uh, and unfortunately, some of the wonderful people who've been involved have, have moved on and left their legacy in other people. I True. Mean, um, I, I've, I've remembered so many lovely moments that have happened with the celebration of the arts. And it seems to have really grown and grown. But with your help, um, because you are the cultural director and the person behind the celebration of the arts, you always maintain this, um, I guess, integrity to the, um, the spirit of the aloha of the people of, of, of Hawaii and, and educated people as you do with the panels and entertain people with some of the best musicians. Well, you know, that's... I'm just a channel. These guys are the ones that really make the, the program happen. Um, one of these days I'm going to attend this event because I'm so busy running back I and know, forth. I never true. get to see it. But, it's true. You know, when you guys... When, when, when there's people like John Cruz and all the artists that's coming from all over the state and the speakers and the filmmakers, they're the ones that make it rock. I just hey, okay, here, you show up at this time and you do your thing and boom, there it goes, so... I'm not going to let you be too humble because I know how many how many how many hours and how much work is involved in putting this on. It's because it's huge, and it starts this Friday, folks. Friday, March 30th. I can't believe it's here. This week already. I oh, know. Boy. I know. I know. And and it's always begun with a lovely ceremony. Yes, uh, we have to pay tribute to what is right and just. And of course, at um, 5:45 in the morning on Friday morning, we gather at the the deep of the dawn on the beach and ask for forgiveness and uh, rejuvenation and clear our spirits and minds and we go okay it's time to start this celebration of the arts in the mm-hmm. right way the pono way mm-hmm. and from there we go to our commitment of ava um, drinking the ava and then of course to our protocol at the doorway the doors open and bang we got you know two days of incredible knowledge and sharing so you show up in the morning since it's 5.45 in one of those Ritz-Carlton robes. Those are big that's, that's entirely up to you. That's entirely up to you, you know. Yeah, with the fluffy slippers, the fluffy too. Slippers. Yeah. It has happened. It has happened. Nobody showed up with a bottle of champagne yet. <laughs> champagne breakfast. <laughs> Champagne and Ava. I think there's a song for you, John. Champagne and Ava. Yeah, there you go. But it's, it's always very, very wonderful. And the doors actually begin... When you uh, open the doors to the lobby, correct? Is it ten o'clock? Um, about nine o'clock, and then the ceremony lasts about forty-five minutes. And from there, at ten o'clock officially is when the event begins. Mm-hmm. The artisans are there, and our panels and everything else starts at ten o'clock. But you want to really—I mean, it's so powerful when you do all the chants and the actual yeah. 
protocol. Yeah. That's become, you know, the tradition and the highlight is, and that's cool because it's great for the Hawaiians who can express mm. their, their uh, Hawaiian-ness per se. At the same time, it stops our, our visitors in their tracks going, whoa, what is this going on? Oh, they they yeah. understand that this is not a performance, that it is indeed protocol and ceremony to the point where they cannot cross our lines of chant. They have to walk around things. They have to, for that for that 45 minutes, all things Hawaiian are, are the boss. You know, I have felt so much energy there. Have you ever been there for the beginning? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. there's so much mana there that literally I feel like you're in another time and space. I mean, I feel my whole energy feel going, whoa. I mean, yeah. between the chanting and the, the people who were powerful there. Yeah, for Hawaiian. someone from, as like myself, I'm, I'm Hawaiian, but um, I'm not as close to uh, the protocol. I don't, um, haven't, uh, you know, gained a lot of the knowledge um, of uh, the ceremonies and stuff. And uh, to be there for the cer- opening ceremony just, you know, makes me even feel more Hawaiian. You know, it's like, whoa, mm-hmm. this is what, this is what, um, this is the feeling that we've lost, really, you know. We've lost that feeling and we're trying to get it back, and uh, Celebration of the Arts helps to, uh, you know. As you're saying that, John, I'm seeing that there's this been this kind of veil and hiddenness that, that some of the Hawaiians have not been able to show their full power, but I get the sense when I go there, uh, I, and I have to honor you, Clifford, on having wonderful people about that, that it's like the, the veil's lifted. And the real power in mana. Don't you get that chicken skin sense when yeah, that absolutely. happens? Yeah, it, It's a time when the door is open. It's mm-hmm. a safe haven for the Hawaiians to come and be themselves. They are the mm-hmm. five diamond. You know, we're a five diamond hotel immersed in a five diamond culture. Mm-hmm. So we have to let the Hawaiians express themselves, and this is the way they do it. And, yeah. and John, don't worry about your Hawaiians because no. I might be <laughs> handing this over to you next year. You know? <laughs> no, but you know what? Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, you know to think about it, uh, Hawaiians had protocol for everything. You know, yeah. So this was right. something that happened. It was part of normal life. You Correct. know, it's like uh, you know. Um, I know we're trying to get it back to where it's uh, not such a big deal. It's just normal. Mm-hmm. You know, Correct. normal everyday activity. You know right. what I mean? You wake up, you do your protocol, you greet people, you do protocol, you uh, partake in um, something at the ocean, you do your protocol. You just 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 getting connected again with. Uh, where um, uh, we used to be spiritually. Correct. I know? totally agree, but it's again, I feel that sometimes we hide ourselves. I mean, we're afraid to let that full power and energy shine, so this is wonderful. I, I know you asked me this morning, um, We want, you're so kind, you wanted to give away um, some tickets to people. Yeah. And we're going to give away a couple of pair um, over the next few minutes mm-hmm. here because uh, we, we'll give you a number to call. Don't call the studio. So many people listen, they know the studio number, and uh, they'll start calling here. But we're going to let Gary answer the phones out there. What are we going to give away tickets to? Uh, we want to give away two tickets right now to the Celebration Violent Taste, which is the precursor to our Celebration After Hours. But the Celebration of Violent Taste is um, when we have local families come in and they cook what they cook best. And... It's, it's a full-on Hawaiian feast. Uh, it's island taste, so it's not necessarily just all Hawaiian luau foods because mm-hmm. we will have steamship around on a spigot just going around and around and to the water, to, you know, to, for your appetite. We, of course, we have our traditional OP and opai and mm-hmm. all this other stuff. So it's a whole mixture of Hawaiian foods and Hawaiian local foods. And you come in and you can buy some script and uh, eat what you want. So for right now, we're offering uh, two tickets to two lucky people to come in on uh, the event. is Saturday. 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 Doors open at 6 o'clock, but mm-hmm. come early. It's a wonderful feast and celebration and gathering. And again, this Hawaiian feeling. So uh, we call now 244-9533, 244 I hope that's the right number. If the lines don't <laughs> right, ring up, then I have the wrong number. I'm doing it from memory. I think it's two four four nine five three three. Is it? Yeah, the phones are ringing. Yay! So we got that, and we'll give another pair away here in just a minute after we talk a little bit, and because sure. um, we appreciate you being involved in it. Um, speaking, let's go down the list of what's going on. We have this beautiful chicken skin, amazing protocol opening, and I just really, you know, I've always loved the arts here on Maui. You know, there's so many fantastic artists that live on Maui, um, but you're going to have some of the finest there. 
and yes. that people can come and join and wander around the hallways and, and learn and actually create art, even if you've never done art before. And maybe because you've never done art before, this is the perfect chance to actually be with an artist and create a piece of art. Correct. We have uh, one of our biggest sponsors is Village Galleries, and we have their artists who come in, and again, they, they sacrifice their time and their implements, and they will teach you how to do a watercolor or just uh, sketching with a pencil or petroglyph art and all this. And that's, that's from the Village Galleries and the contemporary artists. But at the same time, we have our traditional artists that come in for uh, stone carving and wood carving and, and uh, again, feather art, etc. So, you know, it, it's, it's a whole menu of, of what you want in the art world. And it's for children and adults. So it's, it's, it's a family event. And a lot of people have the idea that, oh, it's, it's at the Ritz Carlton, so you got to pay to get in. Absolutely not. It is a complimentary event. So please, we want you to come on down and celebrate with the artists because they are there for you. They really are. They are. Th- that is the truth. And you know what? The artists are so nice and friendly and helpful. Yeah. yeah. And, and there you are wandering between all kinds of different arts. I mean, the, there's a the Hawaiian style, but there's also some traditional. You mm-hmm, know, you, mm-hmm. you've named some of the artists who are going to be there. Well, from the traditional side, we have Mr. Hoaka de los Rios, who is a, a very, very humble person, and he teaches... Uh, stone carving, and that's one of the biggest hits. These kids out there, and they're just pounding rock to rock and, and carving and carving something that's pretty cool. Uh, we have uh, Anita Marcy, who's doing crinkled paper artwork. We have I've Kath- never heard of that yeah. before. Uh, Kathy Long from the Village Gallery is doing uh, pencil sketching. With Macario Pasquale with hands-on mixed media. Um, Betty Hay Freeland is going to be doing a, oh. an oil demonstration and stuff I like that. I love her. Have you ever seen her work, Betty Hay Freeland? Oh, oh so. you, oh, John, you have to check it out. She is amazing. Yeah, yeah. she's a living legend. You, she's, you sit oh, there and you watch them. You go, how do they do these things? Now, I'm totally colorblind, so that's a big factor. That I'll never be an artist, but <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, no, it's black and white and sketches and yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, so <laughs> I guarantee you. That if you took the time, some of them would help you. I mean, uh, really, sure. it's pretty I'm interesting. Sure. Actually, sure. sometimes that freedom from having lessons makes it even more mm-hmm. fun. We have I, think, other things. I think your your uh, your girlfriend's mother is going to be there doing some she sure Sarai. Will. Sarai. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> will be there doing some lovely. Doing her she, uh, art, yeah. She's amazing. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. She's yeah. she's fantastic. Now, that's one thing I wouldn't want to have go wrong because Silk is, she works with Silk, mm-hmm. which is, I mean, her works, you've got to see them, they're gorgeous. I have a couple of things yeah. that she's done. The one unique aspect about her work, I think, is you tell her the story and then she'll create the product. Yes. It's also like going in, to. In Pono, in, she goes yeah. and prays on right. it and she thinks on it and mm. she does it, you know, she'll go walking with it, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she goes through the whole it's process. It's like going to a good tattoo artist. You tell them yeah. the story and then they'll come up with a piece of art same for her you tell her your genealogy you tell her what you enjoy in life and before you know it boom there it is in front of you it's true it's a lot of hard work but she that's a really cool way of uh, creating the product in fact, she did you a beautiful shirt that you wore to the uh, uh, the Nahoko Hoko. Quite a Nahoko yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that was beautiful. Yeah. Um, so that's all going on throughout the day. You know, you can wander mm-hmm. around that. And then uh, we're going to give away another pair of tickets, 242-9533, 242-9533. Uh, to win um, two tickets to go to the beautiful Saturday celebration on the Island Taste Correct. starting at 6 o'clock. Right. So that'll start at 6, it'll end at 9, but then again, don't go anywhere because after that we have the celebration after ours. That's when the, the party goes up to another notch. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that right. is so, so true. So, 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 yeah. so true. Um, and and you're going to bring that notch up. Um, well, let's go through at 3.30. You have a beautiful panel, Understanding Our Mission. Correct. And we've gathered some cultural practitioners and just those who sit on commissions. And, you know, sometimes they get misunderstood in, in what they're trying to accomplish. Um, it's hard to walk that fine line of balance between commerce co- and, and culture and community. And sometimes mm. you get... You get hit from some areas and you're trying to keep this balance so here are four people that will get together and explain what they feel and how they truly love the people and the culture 
and sometimes it just takes a little longer to get things done but they are true to themselves and to the people. That's a really hard subject to it talk is. about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boy, I mean, basic, you're saying not selling out, right? Exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. And, no. and it, it, there's always temptations. Well, mm-hmm. as, as I say, the, the companies that are now hiring so-called cultural advisors are doing it not as a trend, but they are doing it as a necessity. And that's a big difference than what it was before. Interesting. Good point. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. good point. Um, so that's a panel that's happening. Then at 6.30, uh, a movie, which I had not heard of, and I'm glad you're bringing it. It's called Out of State. Yeah, it's a really, really powerful movie. It's about our Kanaka, our men who are being you know, sent through you know, bad choices. Uh, Mistakes to, to, made. Yeah, to, to uh, uh, an Arizona uh, prison system, and it is there that they find themselves. Now, the trick is, when they leave the system, which is so controlling and confined, what happens when they come back to the system mm. of freedom? Mm-hmm. And yes, please, please, please come and support this film. It's it's free of charge again in the hotel theater. It starts at 6 o'clock until 8, just about 8 p.m. And it is a, it is a beautiful film. It's very heart-rendering. Yeah, mm. it is. And, and I'm glad you're bringing it. I had not heard about that one. Yeah, it, it played here in Wailuku a, a couple months ago, and uh, it was. I went to it and said, "Wow, I gotta have this at the celebration. Bring it to the West Side." So, there it is. It's coming through. Oh, powerful! And then we get into John and the yep. celebration after hours. And I may have given out the wrong. I'm trying to remember if it's two four four nine five three three or two four two nine five three three. And I, I think for when, the, when you gave away the first pair of tickets, it I was think two it was four, right. four. I think I should go two four four nine five three three for the second pair of tickets. I know I said that, but then I was wondering if it was right, so I did the other, and then it didn't. So, if you want a pair of tickets to the um, beautiful Island Taste event for the Celebration Arts this Saturday, um, give a call now. Um, and so we're going to talk about the Celebration After Hours. There's a story that's in this that's amazing. Um, because for years, I mean, was it, it's at least 21 or 22 years, you had the celebration after hours in the lobby, maybe Correct. 23 years, mm-hmm. right? Yes. And I, I imagine most of the people who have lived here a while know the lobby, and, and, and it's all kind of open when you walk into the registration right into the lobby. Mm-hmm. Well, it was so jammed that the entire area <laughs> was was full of people, and mm-hmm. you didn't have a stage. Mm-hmm. We so had a little stage. Mm-hmm. We took up more space. We had people <laughs> hanging out in the parking lot because we couldn't fit everybody in. So uh, we decided, you know, it's outgrown it, its position, so we moved it into the into the ballroom. Now it gives everybody a whole lot more space to sit down, enjoy the music. The acoustics are better. Yeah. Lighting <clears> is better. We're turning that place into, well, you got to come see it. you got to come see it. Friday, so that's Saturday the big nights. ballroom that holds about, like, 300 people? Yeah, we've we've taken salons three and four, and it, it, that'll hold way more than three hundred people. Oh, We're looking wow. probably about six hundred wow. somewhere around there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. fantastic! Is that the one down? It's on downstairs. No, there? that's the upstairs. Oh, it's the upstairs. Right. One. And it is complimentary. It is complimentary. It's free. It's free. And you hear John Cruz yeah, and Kalani Pea. Yeah. It's Have you of, ever played? You've never actually. Yeah, sang. I played at the. I was. I played last year at the celebration. You mm-hmm. did, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was the year. Last year it was the first year. It was downstairs, right? No, it was, it was in the ballroom again. Oh, it was in the ballroom, yeah. yeah. But even that. Yeah. yeah, it was in the ballroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even so that was in a, a smaller ballroom. Now it's graduated to the bigger yeah. ballroom. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a even double ballroom. Bigger now. Yeah. So it was an, It was different than the other lobby experience. This is more like a real concert, right? Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. like a full-on event, well, right? We'll, we'll see a show. A show. It's showtime. Yeah. Because, yeah. 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 you know, you're free to get up and go, and, you know, we're going to it, it. you got to come see Yeah, it's still happens. casual. Yeah. But, I mean, ha, ha, you know, it blows my mind that this can be free. In fact, I, I thought I was mistaken. I really believed I was mistaken when I said it was free because I'm going, well, there's no way they could get John Cruz and Kalani Pea and do a concert that would cost about thirty dollars or thirty five or fifty dollars and do it for free. Okay, I hope my bosses aren't listening at this time. <laughs> 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 no, it, it's it's um, and, and thankfully we do have the backing of our our, our guidance team that says if we're gonna do it we gotta do it right and this is the time to open up the doors and say thank you and this is a way of doing it. So yeah, hey, come on on. You know, it, it's party time. 
Yeah. Yeah. No. And and you know, it's I'm a celebration. A, it, it is, is. Yeah, a exactly. celebration. Celebration. Fact, it's part not of the a... celebration of the arts. And yeah. and I'm a huge, huge fan of you, John. I, I mean, I absolutely love your music. I love your voice. And it's so interesting because you lived in Oahu for years, and you moved here about now. It's been about a year, year yep. and a half. Yeah. Well, yeah. In Maui. <coughs> yep. And we're so blessed to have you here. Yep. Um, I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, the, um, people yeah. don't realize what uh, I mean. An amazing treat this is. You've traveled around, sold out crowds everywhere. You know, From I mean, Kakaako to uh, White Man <laughs> to <laughs> and and across the country. Yeah. You played for President Obama. A couple of times, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we got to play for Obama a couple of times. And, uh, I mean, my gosh, you did the bar. I think you even went to Washington, D.C. and did and played there. At a couple of times, yeah. I played at the inauguration, the first inauguration. Wow. And then Sweet. I got to play at the White House two years ago with Paula Fuga. We went and played at the White House. What do you wear to the White House? Did you wear a nice... A outfit? smile. A smile. <laughs> a smile. <laughs> Mostly a smile. You have to break on the best part <laughs> shots you have. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. I'm trying to picture you in, tu- in, in, in tux or something. I was like, no, wow, no, 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 just no. just <laughs> cash. Yeah. As a musician, you have some leeway, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, plus the, you know the Obamas are pretty casual themselves, are they? so yeah. it's uh, you know it's not as uh, you know. Years ago, I actually had got to play for an event for Clinton, President Clinton. Oh, I didn't know that. And wow. it was a little more. Formal, you know, yeah. formal. I got a friend who did some stuff for the bushes, and that's like a little more. It was a little <laughs> yeah. more formal, and uh, you know, it comes from the top, huh? the, um, <laughs> the vibe. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have you play a song here in a minute, um, but I just want to also, you know, say that night is something not to be missed. Oh yeah. So let's go down the schedule for the what you're doing on Friday night after Kalani, then. It's going to be, uh, Kalani's doing it about 9.30, 9.15, 9.30, he'll yeah. be on. Correct, yeah, so he'll play, and then after that, close it all off. Yeah, and you know, Kalani would have been here, but he's on the mainland tour right yeah, now. Yeah, I you know, know. I, just, I just texted him. I uh-huh. said, are you going to be here? And he says, no, I'm in San Francisco. And yeah. like, I think he's playing Santa Cruz tonight or nice, something. Yeah. nice. Hmm. Yeah, but he'll be back. Yeah, don't miss your plane, <laughs> Kalani, whatever you're going to miss your plane. <laughs> No, um, but then um, then you go DJ Scotty is going to do it. And then I, this is something I didn't know. I don't know maybe done it before, but I never stayed up that late. There's a pokey party bowl. Yeah, it, it, it's basically what it is. It's, it's a pokey bar. You just go up there and <laughs> make, your own, own, make <laughs> your own bowl of pokey. And, I mean, the pokey selections will be there, and you just choose which one you want. And uh, I'm flying in some very, very special chopsticks for that so you, you, you gotta come just to what? see the chopsticks what right. no, I'm not giving what? you any secrets not giving right. you any secrets what? Right. yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. flying in chopsticks I'm flying in chopsticks Don't, yeah it's it's for the poke party for bowl. the poke party that's bowl that's very impressive you will be the hit of anybody that has chopsticks Whoa. in Hawaii you will be the hit so. Whoa! <clears throat> I mean that's, that's something right. it's, uh, that's a collector's item yeah it's something worth keeping for sure absolutely mm. wow um, okay so that is and again I hope we had the number two four two nine. I think it's two four two nine five three three. I don't know. It's your station. <laughs> Someone will come oh, in here if I'm telling wait, you wrong. Two four two seven eight zero zero. No, 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 no. no, no, no that's not. Number, don't, that's don't, the in the don't, studio. don't call that number. <laughs> What's uh, the other number that oh, they no, should? No, oh, here. You, okay. Two four two nine five three three. Is that right, Gary? Two four four. It's two, two, four, it's two four, four four. Okay, now you can call. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you're getting, uh, t- you know, I'm getting old. Two four four nine five three three for a pair of tickets to go to the Island Taste event Saturday night at six o'clock. Correct. At the uh, wonderful Ritz Carlton Celebration Earth is this coming Saturday, and you'll love it. It's it's a wonderful gathering of people and Hawaiians and great food and mm-hmm. fun mm-hmm. and. Yeah, I mean it's 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 fantastic. So um, this is the awesomeness of Friday night, and you know what? I believe there's a full moon that night that oh, goes really? into oh, really? Saturday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So there'll be oh. that full moon energy, and you know you can walk out there and walk around, and look up at the sky, and go, ooh, full, oh. moon, full, moon, full energy, moon energy, right? full moon energy. Security, security. Um, so yeah. we're gonna get into Saturday, but I'm gonna have you play a song first. Oh, okay. Because I love your music. You know, it was brilliant. What you did, um, and I love this, Clifford, is you did a little preview at the first uh, yes, Friday. Yes, yes, and And John was there, and the first time I noticed he cut his hair. And um, it was just so lovely to be able to uh, hear him play. And you even had Ikakai. Ikaka. Ikaika. <laughs> Ikaika. Yeah. Ikaika. Uh-huh. Ikaika Brown was there, who's going to be there Saturday Blackburn. night. Ikaika Blackburn. Ikaika Blackburn. 
<laughs> I'm going to hit myself. You kike a black ring. Yes. I'll remember now. So, anyway, you've got your beautiful guitar. What kind of guitar is that, John? Let's give a little kudos. It's actually, it's, it's, it's Jarrett's beautiful guitar. My friend Jarrett's beautiful guitar. Oh, and, uh, it's nice. I was helping him do some work this morning, and then he I was said, like, hey, I got to go to the station. He said, hey, you need one guitar. So, <laughs> Jarrett, thank you. Well, isn't it lovely? So, what are you gonna sing for us, John? I'm gonna sing. Uh, I'm gonna sing. Um, I'm gonna sing. Um, Burning bridges. Burning bridges. Yep. Okay, great. Is this from the yep. new CD? No, this one's Is from. Uh, not from. Uh, from the next one after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> the next one. The new one. That's newer than new. Yeah, the one that's newer uh, than new. Okay. <laughs> I was having a beer with a few of my friends. We decided to head out around the bend Where we were going's uncertain to say But when we make our mind up, nothing stands in our way Sometimes a good feeling when there's nothing to lose When the trouble you find is the trouble you choose This journey will take us to the dawn's early light We're out burning bridges, burning bridges Out burning bridges tonight <laughs> Let go of the rudder, hoist up the sail Batten the hatches, prepare for the gale There comes a time when you reap what you sow There comes a time for just letting go And it ain't wrong and it ain't right We're out burning bridges, burning bridges Out burning bridges tonight What's in the future is always a blur Say you speak truth, but I hear you slur. There's no avoiding the end. When it comes to my heart, there is no man. And what's broken opens up in a way. One thing for certain, we're here today. Though the battle's been long, it's been well worth the fight. We're out burning bridges, burning bridges, out burning bridges today. I just, I just think you're fantastic, John. I'm oh, a huge fan. You. I love that song. Nice. Now you do have, you do have the CD out that you've been working on for about a year. That's not out yet. That's not out yet. It's oh, gonna be out soon. We have the names yeah. of the winners. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Gary. Sorry, it was so confusing. Um, that one's coming out when? That one's coming out. Um, Next year's summer. next yeah. year's uh, yeah. CD release party <laughs> yeah. at the, right. the Ritz Carlton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you've been working on that for a year. Yeah, I've been working on it for a year. Yeah, and it's really years. good. Yeah. Has it been a few years, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's such an interesting thing because Hawaiian music is one thing, but your music is Hawaiian to the heart and soul. But it totally, I hear that song, and I'm going that could get played on any sure. radio station anywhere. Mm-hmm. And you wouldn't say it's just Hawaiian music. You're Hawaiian to the roots and core, so you don't have to prove it. 
but the music. I get one car. I get one. I get one ID though for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I, I I have to say, your family is an amazing yeah. family, and you certainly have paid your dues. You know, the Cruz family is still trying. Yeah. You know, legendary. Yeah. But there's been a lot of you went through a lot of difficulties at that last year and you had then you had problems with your mm-hmm. knee and, and you, you mm-hmm. paid your dues and a half you know and i see it when i hear you and see and you then there was the problems with uh, judge uh, kawamura too <laughs> yes <laughs> not to mention those problems <laughs> never heard but of you it. know what <laughs> you, you you come out so strong on the other side and and i just am i just am so happy to see your soul shining so brightly oh yeah, just, as they always say it's not where you start it's where you end up yeah, right. i mean it's just it's, right. it's just beautiful yeah. i mean uh, yeah. Yeah. I was I was at a concert one time down here at the the Max Castle and and David Crosby and uh, someone else it was Nash Graham Nash Graham Nash David Crosby and, 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 and John uh, Cruz is is playing in the outdoors mm-hmm. that courtyard there you know facing where they have the inner sure. food and everything and you know so he's kind of like just doing a warm up thing right but you know it's John Cruz mm-hmm. and so. And Jackson Brown was Jackson there, Brown too. Was so, and I'm a huge fan of Jackson Brown, and I've played his music for years and knew him. I've interviewed him like three times or four times. So I see Jackson Brown sneak out the side of the Mac, and, and he's just kind of being very unobtrusive, right? No one sees him that is Jackson Brown. And he's walking up to the side of the stage just where there's the uh, chain link fence, and he's just staring at him, and I go and said, Hi, Jackson. Isn't, you know, isn't he amazing? He says, I just love John's voice. He said, he is just such an amazing player and a singer and he said mm. I, this and you know he just wanted he just stood there listening mm-hmm. to john i and believe i recorded yeah. him I, he uh he he was uh gracious to let me record his my last album was recorded at his studio actually yeah, but, at Jackson's studio. but you're so humble so that's, that's very that's yeah. going to be happening and i know this is radio days. land but what we just saw here with his with you know he, him playing a smile on his face yeah. and the emotion he put into this song Okay, imagine on stage now. What's yeah. going to oh, oh, come yeah. on down. Yeah. Um, okay, celebrate <laughs> good times. Yeah, come yeah. on, uh, right. uh, winners, Maggie, Maggie, yes. Maggie Rain. Thank you for listening, Maggie. You're going to go to the celebration. Um, that's a taste of uh, Island Tastes. Uh, it's a celebration of Island Tastes. Congratulations, it's, Maggie. It's nice. at six o'clock yeah. on Saturday. And David Olstein. Ah. Are you related mm. to Joel? No, David Holstein is the other one. Thank you very much, and those go to you. Yes, I will have these tickets Names for at you the, at the door. At the door. Yeah, and Saturday. so come on down. Okay, cool. Um, but get there early, both of you, um, because, you know, you're going to wander around, and it's just Oh, we're a, both going to be there pretty early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so we're going to have you sing again in a little bit, but we want to go up Saturday, because Saturday is, um, you know, the day when... I mean, a lot of people actually do take off Good Friday, you sure. know, because um, yes. it's kind of the day they holiday. But Saturday's a full day when people have no excuses if they're still working like I might be. Um, you can get out there starting at 10 o'clock again. And um, all the great artists out there. I love, are your friends from Nihiku coming? Ni- from Nihau? Nihau, yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> they're, they'll be coming in um, at the um, Kale Aloha Roback coming in from Oahu with her Nihau family. family. Yeah. And you, know, they, you know what? I hope they're well insured. They bring with them this bags full of the shells, right? The Nihau shells. And they let people make, I think you can do bracelets correct, or other little or things earrings, and so. earrings. I mean, well, I, I wouldn't advise grabbing something from yeah. a Nihau person. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Besides the rollback boys are getting pretty <laughs> yeah, huge yeah. these days. Besides that, they, and, uh, they, they pick up pee with their fingers. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. They pick up pee with their fingers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that, and and um, some wonderful artists, um, and bring the whole family because mm. it's really designed for the whole family. Mm-hmm. It That's, truly is. Yes, um, and it's so cute to watch the kids out there with their mom and dad, and they're all doing the art together, and you'll see that, you know? Correct, and it, it, it's we've, we've got about maybe 40 artists a day, uh, including crafters, etc., so we have little tote bags that you can pile up your, your heirlooms in that you create and just keep walking around and enjoying the whole day. Mm-hmm. And and you will. You'll just feel that, that wonderful feeling, and there's food, of course, because yeah, <laughs> it's the Ritz, you know? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at 3.30, um, you have a good panel on Saturday at 3.30, I love this Nawahini. Nawahini Nawahini. It's mm-hmm. time. Four really. prominent women share their passion and dedication as leaders within our state and culture. How did you pick four? Whoa. It wasn't hard, easy. Yeah. It wasn't easy. But, you know, I, I 
I just kind of like my mind just just blew up. I said, "Okay, I'm going to invite uh, Mahina Martin because she's always in the she's always trying to, to, to she's just watching over us, you know, making sure that we don't take, get taken advantage of in the community sense." And then, of course, you know, Trustee uh, Carmen Hulu Lindsay from Lindsay. the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Yeah. Man, she's a little spark plug. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, nothing goes over her. She's not afraid to stand <laughs> up and, and state her state her opinions. And that's the great thing about it is, is these women are saying, hey, look at me, guy. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to stand the same ground you have. So there's n- no apologies meant. This, this is I'm here. And, of course, Teresa Shook from she organized the. The, the state, the National March. Women's March, where I think millions of people actually gathered throughout the nation. That and it'll, still, so many people don't realize that that started with her. Yeah, uh, and she's just—I mean, we know here in Hawaii. I think there was a few articles that I saw written recognizing her, but wow! I mean, that seed planted here did a, a shake that you could feel the quake across the whole country. Yeah, and she she lives in the kingdom of Hana, you know, so <laughs> it's like she she boom, it was just like yeah. no. She yeah. she blew it up. That's <clears throat> great. That's very very cool. Very cool. People did take notice, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh there's one guest that we're trying to come in. She's trying to get here and I can I can mention it cuz she's we still haven't confirmed her but uh, that's that's uh, Congresswoman Tosi Gabbard will be the uh-huh. final one that we're uh-huh. trying to mm-hmm. get here, but it's it's all depending on. Of course, she's got some heavy business to take care of right now. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in, in, in the world. And yeah, yeah, and she was there last uh, Saturday. Yeah. for the mm-hmm. march. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you know, I, I give her credit. She's out there doing her thing, and you know, I look at wow. Okay, she might be one of the great presidential yep. you know, front Yeah, that's what I said. Up. When I first saw her, I met her, I, went, oh, I said, and I told her, I said, you could run for president, but, yeah. um, you know, she's she's very, very good at what she does. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. And that's 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, um, this is a little out of where I'm sorry, 1.45 to 2.45 is Nana Ike Kumu? Correct, yeah. Nana Ike Kumu. Um, you know, it's tough for an artist. Well, no, maybe not. It's tough for us to to look at an artist who can pick up a rock and see a thing of beauty in this in this piece of rock, or uh, some some reed that they gathered, or a piece of wood, and they take that raw material and they they create what's in their mind's eye and bring it to a level of beauty. Mm-hmm. So this is we're, we're we're asking them to explain to us how can they see in their mind's eye what to bring out of that. That rough piece of nature. Well, I would I would venture to say that the process of that is similar to a process of writing a song. Yeah, because just like a great song, that energy you get is is like something from nature. You're getting this spirit, this energy of the mm. song, this conception <clears throat> that is really something even beyond what you can sometimes explain that mm-hmm. is coming to you, and you're doing the same thing. You're shaping it, you're forming it, you're bringing your voice to it, you're bringing your energy to it, you're bringing your music to it. And and I feel that in a lot of your songs. And who would, uh, I, could you have ever predicted um, Island Style and Shine would ever be so huge when you wrote them? No. <laughs> I mean, it would just, they just felt good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you just go with what feels good. Um, and when it, uh, yes, um, my dad just said, just keep doing things that feel good. When they don't feel good, stop doing them. Ah. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. You know, it, simple. It's, yeah, it's a simple. You're, you're a poet. You're a poet, <laughs> and for instance, like Hawaka, he's a, he's a stone carver, and his profound words to me was, "You think in what you're doing that you are carving the image, but in reality, the yeah, image is carving you." Yeah, right. Exactly. So it's like you true. and your music. Yeah. You know, <clears> same exactly. Thing. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've had a song or a Just thought or something, to, yeah. and I thought I was going to control, and it, it completely takes on another life. And I know that it's that way for art as well. You start and you're thinking. You're going to do something some way, and then it takes on its own life, and you just have to honor it, you know. Yeah, you, you, you um, for one, you just, uh, you know, you're, you're um, thankful that you're there to receive, to receive this raw piece of energy, mm-hmm. you know, and then you just try to stay out of the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, that's, that's hard and just to try do, to do it? the right, you know, just right. try to do the right things to help. Help the process, which know. is the same as what one of your panels is going to be on Friday, is not compromising it. You know, because for musicians who have labels and for artists who have people who are their people who buy them, etc., or maybe galleries, mm-hmm. it'd be easy to go. Well, I'm going to do this because it will be commercially acceptable. 
But as soon as you start doing that, maybe it is commercially acceptable, but something changes along the way. You know, I'll, I'll use this for existence. For, for example, I'm sorry. Um, we have traditional um, artisans who create things out of stone or wood, etc. Then what's been happening is somebody comes and takes a photograph. Mm-hmm. Then the photograph gets sent over to a business company elsewhere. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, that product's being remade at a very, very cheap price. Oh, seriously? Right. Oh, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. You've seen yeah. that happen, Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, so yeah, this is why you, you actually see signs that says photography is prohibited because uh-huh. it's, it's like a intellectual license almost. Uh-huh. And you work hard at this thing, but somebody goes and slaps it. Yeah. And the mind's eye is somebody else's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then this this comes oh, yeah. through. So at this event, you know, we respect that. Mm-hmm. We do respect it. And so sometimes photography is not is not you know, allowed. I you got to that. respect the soul of, of the of the, yeah. the song. It's like yeah. somebody just going ahead and singing your song before you mm-hmm. you know before yeah. you really release it. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. not cool. Yeah. Um, well, then of course we talked about the celebration of island taste, which is really had an interesting evolution because it came from the huge luau, which was massively popular but it was you know the ritz doing it and everything and it was a lot more expensive it was like i think 150 dollars when it was the luau yeah. wasn't it about 150 per person correct yeah. and um what and we what we figured is you know it, why don't we give back more to the community so the tickets that are on sale um, a lot of the proceeds two-thirds of the proceeds just for the tickets actually goes back to um hula halau oh. uh, non-profit organizations um, the families that come in, they sell their their foods. They keep one hundred percent of their their monies. Wow, that you don't see that happening anywhere. No, That's so amazing. so what it is? It, this, this is why we want people to come out and support these families because and, and these halal and stuff. This is not about the Ritz Carlton. It just happens to be at the Ritz Carlton. Mm. Will you have halal's dancing while the food is being served? We at? have a group called Navai Eha. They are the new up and coming group here on Maui and. Uh, uh, their their family with Luana Kava'a and wonderful hula dancers, sisters and brothers, etc., are up there on the stage. So it's going to be a great time. But it's all about uh, Ohana on this yeah, thing, it's isn't a, it? Yeah, it's all about Ohana <laughs> at that event. So, you know, hey, it's a casual atmosphere. Come on down, try all these foods from Kulolo to coconut gelato. And you, you can know. take pictures. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you can take it home, too. You can, right. you can take home. <laughs> right. Bring your, bring your coolers. Yeah. Um, and then we get to the wonderful Saturday night celebration after hours, which again is going to be in the ballroom this Correct. year. Correct, yes. And this is going to be a really special event. Yeah. We've, we've uh, changed the theory a bit. So last year was the CD release party for Kumu Kamakukona and his halal. And it was right. a great success. So I said, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So Every year now, we're going to dedicate the, that Saturday night to a CD release oh, party cool. uh, for a for an entertainer. So, you know, if you are about to release at that time, and uh, you got more power than John Cruz here, then you <laughs> <laughs> give us the ring uh, and let us know what's going on. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. exactly. So that's going to he'll he'll start um, Ikaika Blackburn with uh, the group Nahua. And they're, they're excited. These guys, they play all over. And it's uh, like Ikaiko was going to be here today, but he had to catch a flight. He couldn't make it. But he says, uh, send his regards and say, in, invite everybody to come down. After him will be Josh Kahula. And if you ever heard yep. Josh Kahula, I mean, yikes, <laughs> this guy, he can play yikes. everything can under play, the yeah. yeah. It's it's incredible what kind of cover music, dance music he plays. And his voice ranges from low to high. And the beats yeah. are great. So, yeah. Very talented young man. Absolutely. Yeah, Josh yeah, Kahuna. Yeah. And he doesn't take a break. He just goes right through the set. Like, boom. Really? He just, yeah, keeps going. High energy. Absolutely. Uh, high energy, uh, um, good time dance mm-hmm. music. He had everybody rocking last yeah, year. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Nobody wanted it to Nobody end. Nobody wanted it to yeah. end, yeah? Uh, <laughs> and then, and then you know, the, the, night, the night before, yeah, the night before we offered the poke, but this night we're offering a, a ramen bar. Oh, yeah. oh! Again with the magic. The chocolate. late wow. night, the late night ramen late action. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, I know, like these yeah, ideas. So. This is new this year, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because I yeah. needed a ramen last year about wow. that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa! How cool is that? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. so it's an amazing week. There's really even more going on than we can give you the total amount because so many artists and everything. So celebrationoftheart.org. 
celebration of the, you put in the, mm-hmm. celebration of the arts.org has the entire list. And when you get there, I mean, you brought this beautiful um, brochure program in with you. It's lovely. I, I don't know who did the graphics, but I, I, it's kudos to uh, whoever did yeah, the layout. Yeah, so my PR this. team, uh, Corinne and Deanna, they just, they just go Corinne for it. Corinne and Deanna, right. I applaud you. Look at the lovely picture of Clifford right on the front no, that's, page. That's Photoshop. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to have enough time, and we do, to do at least one more song. Um, and because uh, you know, I just love hearing you. Yes. I yeah, love hearing you play. Would you oblige us, sir? Yeah, He's just so nice good song. that way. Yeah. He really sure. is. <laughs> I ain't getting very far. Hanging out in bars, sleeping in most of the day. Can't wait for resurrection, know those little men from Mars. Time is running out, I've got to get away. I'm losing my mind and wasting my time. A friend gave me a call, said let's go out in the country where the law can't touch us at all. Stevie got pulled over, driving down the road, landed his ass in jail. They took him downtown just for being brown. My baby's like 25 bucks for bail. And Johnny said, oh, I know a place we can go where at night you hear the wild thing call. Way out in the country where the law can't touch us at all. Way out in the country where the law can't touch us at all. Darling Sarah, don't you worry for me. Gotta get out, I'm fighting for my sin The way I'm headed, I might end up in jail Come on with me, honey We don't need no money Way out in the country where the law can't touch us at all I ain't getting very far, hanging out in bars, just sleeping in most of the day. Can't wait for resurrection of the little men from Mars. Time is running out, I've got to get away. Losing my mind, you wasting my time. A friend gave me a call, so let's go out in the country. Way out in the country. Let's go out in the country where the law can't touch us all. They're trying to take me down. Follow me around Come on with me, honey You don't need no money I gotta get out of town Out in the Hey, hey, yeah We're out in the country Where the law can't touch us at all Oh, I love mm. that Woo! Nice Fantastic I haven't heard that one before, I don't think mm-hmm. No, I don't Is that new? Uh, no, that's going to be on an album That's on a new album that's coming up Oh, well then that's I mean, yeah, new. it's new Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, that's great Wow, you got a hot new album coming out Yeah Boy, mm. Grammy material there it's Whatever, you yeah. know <laughs> No, I mean, it's really good It's re- And you know what I heard on that one Which, of course, I love your voice and your singing and your passion But you some nice little guitar licks in there you threw, too you just like, Yeah, oh, some mini, mini, <laughs> mini licks <laughs> Just to prove you can no, play. No, you throw out a few just mini licks and people <laughs> actually get the impression that you play, yeah, that's that you can play major yeah. licks. You know? well, that's it's true. all power of suggestion. Huh? It is true. <laughs> it is, it, no, and, and I love that. You know, I, I've always loved music, and like I say, you're one of my favorites. And to be able to see you to play for free on Friday night, followed by Kalani Peya, I can't even think of a better lineup than that for a night. I mean, that's that blows my mind. I have to say kudos to you, Clifford. I don't know how you pulled it all together, but it's it's just going to be a very memorable celebration of the arts. Yeah, my bosses are just finding out about it today. <laughs> <laughs> they give me free reign all of a sudden. Whoa! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Till the bill comes due. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Trust me. So, yeah, man. You just heard, John. That's, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and I have to say, I've seen you through the years, Clifford, and 
you've done so much for the community, but I mean, every year it's been fantastic. Can you think of 26 years of this fantastic celebration of the arts uh, that you've brought to the community? I mean, there really isn't anything quite like this on any of the other islands. You know, anyone would be proud to have something like this. But this is this is so uniquely wonderful yeah, in Maui. I, I think the big difference is a lot of it is hands-on. It's just mm-hmm. not shopping um, and talking. It's it's hands-on. We are mm-hmm. sitting down and creating things with your family. And you're listening mm-hmm. and, and learning and, and, and communicating. And then... Of course, you're eating it, and you're dancing, and you're having a great time. <laughs> well, my you know? brother played this yes. event, yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He did. I, I remember him. Show. I remember him talking about the event. And yeah. I was like, what? Which, oh, which brother was that? Ernie. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. His, his dad. When was this? Yeah. His dad came to a place called we managed called Club Rodeo up in Makawa. Not. And he you gonna, managed he, that? Oh yeah, yeah. Me I and my friend Herman. Know that? And your dad. Mm-hmm. I remember being at Panama Rodeo, and he he sat us down and he said, "Hey, listen to this song." And he played uh, Molokai Cowboy. Molokai Cowboy. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Wow. Nice. So, yeah, it's all in the family. Again, yeah. we're going mm-hmm. back to Ohana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, and I, I just I, you know, I just love talking to both of you. I know you're very busy and you had to drive in from Kapalua for this, uh, Clifford, but I appreciate it. And John all the way in from Kula, you know, we mm-hmm. both coming in. Uh, but it gives people a little bit of a taste of what the celebration of the arts mm-hmm. is all about. And, and there's really no way to capture it. Unless you're there, you know. Um, and I have to give a, a shout out to Rick Shantenever. He always is wonderful yeah. in, in in describing it better than I can describe it <laughs> because he does a very good job of, of in putting into words of what this event is all about. I guess if you had to do one word, it's aloha. Yeah, I, I, that, that night in Wailuku, I saw a great T-shirt that says uh, Ineo Hawaii. Exhale, aloha. I thought that was, oh, I thought that was nice. great. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a song Ooh, for you. Yeah. Oh, I walk past the guy says, I like that shirt. I oh, I've never shirt. seen or heard yeah. that one. Inhale, Hawaii. Inhale, Hawaii. Inhale, Hawaii. Inhale, Hawaii and exhale, exhale aloha. aloha. Yeah. That's, a good one. That's a great one. I may steal that one for a song. I, maybe there's already a song, but that sure has deserves a song or a yeah. poem or, or something. Or, or two. Or, or two, two. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you know, it's it's just a treat, and um, we're down to our last two minutes. So you want to just go out with a song for us? We just got in two minutes here, just kind of. You can even be good to guitar. Just a little bit of um, going out as we right. as we thank John Cruz. Yes, and, and again, this is today was a poo poo. If you want the entree, yes. you gotta show up. And yeah. congratulations to Mr. David Olsen. And Maggie Rain, I believe her name is. And we will have the tickets for you at the door. And I'll tell you, this so. is what makes my job fun. It's all good. <laughs> Flower lane, yellow, white, and purple strand. Woven like many days and countless ways. We held our hands Here we are Standing at an airport gate All those wishes on a star That meant so far We'll have to Like an appetite flowing Like a trade wind blowing Soon you will be far across the sea For Peter Moon, of course Flying Soon you will be flying Like a teardrop trying Leaving just a memory Yay. Yes, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Aloha.